Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a Temerian Tuesday, and it is a good one at that. It's been a while since I've done decks. I may have forgotten how to do them, but we'll find out. <laughs> Come with me on this journey. Uh, I've talked about this. I've been most excited for Erland. I've only been able to play one game with him so far, uh, and we drove straight into an Arnagod wall. I tweaked the deck a little bit. We're going to see if this can work a little bit better for us. Uh, but I'm pumped. I think... Uh, I think this new expansion brings with it a lot of new ideas, intrigue, tempo plays, um, patient plays, etc. And Northern Realm's got some really fun cards. I probably should have walked you through all of them. This is basically my Roach Merciless deck using Spying Roach since he got the buff from 12 provisions down to 11. Uh, and then Erland as just like this phenomenal point slant but also crazy point uh, giver as well. So we do get Merciless pretty early here, and I do want Roach in hand. That way I'm not bricking with Merciless. Um, I did have Quen in this, and I subbed it out for Roach. Uh, I think it's a little bit better, but you can put Geralt Quen in here. That'll get you Erland with some better consistency. But right now we just want Blue Stripe Commandos back in the deck. Um, and I like the Egmund... Carrick Frigate, Stranger play here as well. Then Griffin Witcher Mentor gives you some consistency, protects you from breaking. Uh, but I'm going to put him back for right now. Alright, cool. Now we have access to our Amphib, and we have Pavetta in hand. So we have some flexibility. Uh, Overwhelming Hunger is interesting, and you do see this new super creepy outline going on here. Unfortunately, we have Carrick Freight in hand. Had I, you know, been able to select my draws differently, I would have prioritized keeping this in deck. That way I could Amphib it out with Nautilus. That being the case, we're just going to drop the Frigate down. Not a whole lot we can do in the face of Nithral. Uh, welcome, Slav Squirrel. We just started recording our video for Temerian Tuesday. Um, interesting to see Nithral come out. That's part of an overwhelming hunger deck. You know, because it wasn't oppressive enough as was. This is strange. I can't say that I fully understand what's happening right now. Um, now we can use these leader charges. I have swapped to inspired zeal since we're not using the dueling units with the shields anymore. Um, but we can use these inspired zeals pretty readily on these targets. Oh man, this is gonna be a game. I can already I can already sense that. Um, all right. Well, whole bunch of removal whole bag of dicks. Um, yeah, I mean, Nithral with Veil is just oppressive. Uh, but we can keep up in value, and we can still use Nautilus to carry out like uh, one of these commandos if we need be. This is... Oh, okay, he's just going for value there. I was very concerned that he didn't know what he was doing. All right, now we can set up our Tritum. Just start pinging away patiently. Uh, Nautilus could also grab us target practice, uh, which plays well onto Arch Griffin. just want this so we can have it for later. Let's just go for one of these Royal Guards for value. <clears throat> Got a melee and then boost up Tritum. <clears throat> Which gets us a bit out of this pickle. 
So we do here need to get out Merciless with the Commandos, spawn copies with Blue Stripe Scouts, and get to work. Um, notably, you could get Cohen out, have Ana boost him by one, then the next turn he would be able to boost her since they would be the same value. Uh, lots of kind of fun stuff you can do. I think Uprising is probably better where Cohen is going to fit. And I kind of want him in my deck. I'd prefer to get something a little bit different. All right, Erland is the boyo we're looking for. And I really only need one of these uh, zeals. So we're going to go. We missed the damage value here. Yes, I know. Uh, but here we just need to get these out. This is not typically the play you want to make, but we have everything else we want, except for Arch Griffin. So typically the play here, you want Arch Griffin out, you want to get Arch Griffin boosted as much as possible, it's going to go back into your deck, then you're going to strip that boost off with Erland. Uh, so the opponent here goes for Maruna, I think just trying to put the smack down onto our commandos. Uh, which means I, we can anticipate another Maruna play coming here. Uh, but he has a greater than 0% chance of hitting into this Blue Stripe Scout. Looking at the rest of our cards, I'm actually fine playing any of these. Cone would be a sad loss, but he's really not the end. So that being the case, we're actually just going to play Vernon over here. Unfortunately, uh, we get Tritum Infantry, but we do get another Blue Stripe Scout out, so that works out well for us. We're going to see how lucky we can get here with Griffin Witcher Mentor. I'm just, basically my goal here, I'm not going to be able to beat him this round. Uh, not even close. But I just want to try to get him down as many cards as possible. Uh, this is fantastic for us. I'm going to go ahead and put Anna Stringer back here. She's not superbly useful. But this Blue Stripe Scout is exactly what we want to draw into. And this way, going into the third round, I'm just going to keep Erland, Pavetta, and Amphibious Assault which allows me to tutor out all of these Blue Stripe Commandos all over again, but they'll all be boosted by one. Uh, Siri Nova's quite good. She gives a lot of carryover value, but here you're going to see us getting a ton of carryover value as well. And here I think we're just kind of bleeding out more and more of these cards that the opponent doesn't want to play. And this missed two damage, uh, at least so far, looks like it's not going to be a big difference one way or the other. Beast is a good play, but I'm good bleed from my perspective. The opponent going to take this round uh, by six points. I can do math by uh, oh my gosh by seven points. Just taking my brain to do some work right there. So all these units are going to lose their boost. Um, we don't get last say, but that's fine because Erland gets immunity. So unless they have something like Curse of Corruption or uh, Yurden or something like that, we're going to be just fine. Uh, I do like Griffin Witcher Mentors in these tight rounds. They work really well. Um, and then these guys, these this this will work fine. It's not my preferred outcome here, but I think it's going to be okay. Uh, Arch Griffin just really not looking that helpful at all. Um, so I don't care much for that. We did take out Dunbanners because we're trying to get away from the thin. I think if I was going to swap anything, I think I'm going to go back and put down Roach since he's just getting us a little bit too much thin taking off some of Erlen's value. Dole Lock comes out. 
great play from the opponent here. Pavetta is the easiest first play, just gives us some flexibility. Uh, and the opponent here just benefiting from our thrive. Um, a little bit weird choice. We don't have anything else that's going to be a lot of big point play. Now here we are going to go for a Griffin Witcher Mentor. See if we can get one of these blue stripes. Or Cohen. This is perfect. And now we can put Honest Trainer back into our deck. And we can tutor her out with Amphibious Assault. She'll be pre-boosted. Ready to go. And this blue stripe here also pre-boosted. Don't want to play him quite yet though. We want to get Erland down first. But Erland we can play anytime we want at this point. Um opponent here going for the kill on that. I think they're going to regret that decision as soon as they see our next play. <laughs> yeah, if I tutor Cohen, oh, maybe we should think about that. Cohen actually would come out boosted by 2 to 5 with Amphibious Assault, um, which would be just one too many for the Blue Stripes. So here we get all of those units boosted up by one. Could be, Cohen would come out boosted to six at this point. But I think Ana's is just a better, I don't know. It's kind of a tough choice. Actually, we could set a uh, drummer next to Erland. Okay, no longer a serious consideration. I wonder why they're going for seven here. Um, let's just get out. Yeah, actually, let's do that. Kind of a weird and interesting purify. So Ana is going to give us four points. Um, plus one, so five. Cohen will get us four points. Okay, she'll come up boosted by one more. So I'm going to go ahead and get out Ana. Did unfortunately play into that Puka one more time. So if you get the Arch Griffin pre-boosted, then when Erlen strips off all these boosts in the deck, he would get uh, not just one point per unit, right? He's going to pull off all the boosts. So if Arch Griffin is boosted by five, he's going to boost himself by five. I hear the opponent just able to tutor out so much value, though. So here the play is, you use the zeal, you pull them all out, they're all pre-boosted, and then you strip the rest of the buffs onto Erland. And we get just enough to go over by one point, but the opponent just has too much value stacked up here. So just not quite, just not, just not quite enough. Uh, Surrender looking really good here too. A little uh, funny deck from the opponent. Alright, we're going to go and make that change. I. I added in Roach just to show you guys that he did have that provision uh, buff nerf, however you want to say that. We're going to tweak that just a little bit because he doesn't quite synergize all that well with this deck. So, uh, I'm going to strip him off and then Adalia works really well here. Or Quen. Quen also would work really well here. Now, the other change I want to make, I just want to be able to get as much boost as possible. So drummers are looking good. Target practice works well for that. Royal guards work well as well. Uh, just looking through for general other boost value units. Um, you know, something that could work really well for this too would be uh, Francis Bedlam.
Uh, the car I'd really like to be able to squeeze in here, and we'll see later in a different deck, but a Visigoda deck will be forthcoming in the near future. Don't you worry, we'll be making it work somehow. Um, now we're going to take one of the uh, Griffin Ranger here and sub that out for one of our Tritums. And the goal with that is we can transfer that boost to Cohen. We can transfer that boost to Arch Griffin. All kinds of options. Oh, this art is just so beautiful, though. I really want to see that very clearly all interconnects. I think they're just waiting to show us how that looks. not a fan of including Maruna and our other friend in one deck. Um, this works fine. I'm going to go ahead and put him back. Uh, this is a little bit better. We're gonna lead off here with an amphibious assault onto. Well, actually, we'll save it for this blue stripe scout, I think. Then use reinforcements here as well. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and drop down this tritum. Yes, he does have value with the drummer and with the stringer, um, but I may actually just want to save these for next round in hopes that I can get the arch griffin. That not being the case, and the opponent just going out for some slow tempo here. Uh, I do think Drummer looks pretty nice at this point. Just seeing if we can get these down to two points of value each. That way we can polish it off with Roach Merciless and get out some other units. Those other units particularly <laughs> being... Uh, Blue Stripe Commandos. And once we're able to get out these Blue Stripe Commandos, we'll copy this Blue Stripe Scout using uh, using reinforcements. Uh, the opponent lining up a lot of units on the opposing row, which works well for us. He also a good counter to Cat Witchers, notably, uh, which I haven't seen much play of yet. Uh, but let's see. So we do need to get out this Roach Merciless soon. We need something else on this row to, to get full value of that. Oh, this is a little oblong. That's not how I want to play it, though. But this is the best way to get value. So, And we just need to get at least one of these units down to two there we go uh, unfortunately the thrive's going to kind of throw this off a little bit uh, but we're starting to put up the pressure and we can drop down cohen here to get some value too i think he's going to be better in a visigato deck where you're able to kind of like schedule him exactly the value that you want him to be We'll just set him up here. Thrives are going to be a little bit difficult. I was hoping to get one of these down to one point, but you can always have what you want. Probably Griffin Witcher Ranger was the best choice there. But we can use him next. Alright, this is a solid kill of the Tritum. Um, I 
So right now, I'm looking at a ton of value with this Cohen play. That's looking pretty nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. We really only use two of these anyway, unless you're using a boost on to Stringer, which we clearly aren't using here. So right now, I'm getting these two boosts from the fours, uh, or this, or, uh, or the fives next turn, the merciless is gonna get boosted up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that now. Notably, Cohen is all other units, so I wanted to use this before they got to four as well. Uh, because it would be boosting opponents on the other side of the board as well. Oh, they really need to fix this. Um, it's not working as intended. A lot of value out of debt left. Um, but the further the opponent wants to go into this round, the better for me. I'm just going to be building up value with the Stringer. We're going to be building up value with these Blue Stripe Commandos. My preferred option here is Nautilus onto reinforcements, and we'll save the Amphib. Karen, a great way to add up some value really quickly with Detlef. I'm guessing the opponent... No, oh, they're not choosing to sit on it. There is a lot of uh, consume synergy that is going on. Uh, the opponent's still down by a little bit here. But we're just going to continue being patient. If I can force this into... A, ah! Misplay. This is a misplay by me. Uh, we needed to trigger this to get that out of the deck. Uh, hopefully the opponent plays one more card. <laughs> if they do, then I'm actually quite happy with that. We'll go for Amphib. Sometimes I actually will do this intentionally, but earlier in a round to make the opponent uh, feel like they actually uh, have a chance at catching up in terms of score. Uh, looks like it did work out here, though. So here we go for Amphib. We go on to Blue Stripe Scout. And a lot of you guys are going to look at this and say, like, Oh my gosh, you have overplayed. Well, all these guys are carryover. All of these points, right? So right here, 6 times 4, 24 points of carryover value. We are ripped, ready to go. Um, biggest things I'm going to be looking for are Erland. 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 And uh, another Erland. <laughs> um, okay, so unfortunately we kind of get Arch Griffin a bit too late here. Uh, so this combo just really isn't all that helpful. I don't mind playing Target Prasius on the Arch Griffin though. I could play these three cards and that would work pretty well. And just go into a tight round three. We really do need Erland to get maximum value. Um, so we're not getting any Witcher students because there won't be any Witcher. So I'll play this. If there's a clean removal, then uh, that's like a special card. Then there's not a lot we can do about this. Maruno would be a pressure play that would cause us some issues. But we do want to just try to drain out as much value from the opponent as we can. Uh, unlike last time, we do want to make sure that the drain value stays out of the opponent. Uh, not just feeding into a giant round where they're going to dominate us. <sighs> we'll get there. Don't you worry, friends. We're going to get there. Alright, so the opponent has a succubus in graveyard, which is what they want for this second succubus. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and go for target practice here. Just boosting up this arch griffin by as much as possible. It'll go back into the deck. 
It does get shuffled in, so I do have a chance of redrawing it as just like a good finishing play. Uh, the opponent not doing much to really contest that. They do get the Succubus replayed here. I don't really understand why you'd consume the Puka, though. The opponent making one more play, I'm guessing, to deal with this Arch Griffin. Yeah, just trashing that. But I'm happy with that. Now I get final say. Um, which is quite valuable to me. And we got the second half of Oniromancy too, so. Alright, so now really all I want is Erland, and I get him. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, Adalia would be a little bit better. Eggman even uh, probably a little bit more flexible than even Adalia. We'll see what we can get here. This is perfect. I uh, couldn't have asked for more, really. <laughs> uh, we're in a pretty good spot, friends. We are in a pretty good spot. Okay, you're going to see how this can go off and get working for us exactly how we want it to. So the Carrick Frigate is my only target, though. That's kind of the only downside here. Um, and I can only get soldiers onto one row, unfortunately. So typically my play, I like to do these Carrick Frigates in the earlier round when you see those Blue Stripe Scouts come out. But this will work. And the other thing we can do here, since this is a short round, we're just going to go ahead and trigger this, then spawn the next Carrick Frigate, and it will be, uh, then it will benefit from the crew member, and we'll be just feeding this second Carrick Frigate, and probably play the other units to range around. Uh, the opponent does get an incredible value from this haunt. I'm sure they're happy to see that. But we're just going to be patient. Uh, we uh, Obviously that Arch Griffin would have carried 7 points of boost. That would have all carried over straight on to Erland. Uh, but I'm happy with the last say. V is quite nice if the opponent can tutor it back out again. I don't know if they have access to that though. Now this is just kind of a raw points fest. These are all backwards now, too. This should be uh, my melee row showing on bottom instead of up top. Super weird. We'll be logging all of those issues with CDPR. They're pretty responsive. Alright, we're down by quite a bit, but we are certainly not out of this. I'm just going for all the consumes. Not a hundred percent sure why. But we're just being patient. So we are gonna tutor out all six of these bad boys for 30 points, and we'll be stripping off points from the rest of these friends. Giving those all back to Erland. Ooh, uh, Whispering Hillock is a great way to get V back. Decent point value here for the opponent. Uh, I get the Death Wish proc onto the Banshee and these two Andregalarvas. And just like that, we don't even need to trigger Erland to take the win here. But we will, just to push it over the edge. So that's how you can do it. Um, but that immunity onto Erland is quite helpful. Good in a pinch. 
Uh, now some of you might think, oh, the opponent should have saved that last say. I, I kind of agree with you. I think the uh, I think the heat wave was a little bit awkward. Though he would have gotten additional seven points of boost from that arch griffin. So we'll jump into one more game. Man, uh, Nilfgaard is not who I expect to see on ladder. Uh, I'm terrified of Skellige. I think Skellige has the best factional synergy. Um, Northern Realms is probably second. Alright, we do get Arch Griffin. Erland really early here as well. Um... Let's put him back. save that okay um i don't love what we have here but we're gonna get a lot of boosts going on that'll work pretty well i think i like this new portal it's one provision cheaper so it's a little easier to include in your deck and you get some cool stuff like viper witcher adepts um erland is kind of the perfect counter to this uh to this like spam deck spam this I don't know what to call that, uh, but we'll show you guys how this will work for us. But Erland is going to be able to boost all these units that I'm going to get spammed with, and rip off those boosts. Vipe adepts referred to as cool. This is fine. Hey, look, I don't hate this as part of a portal. As a portal pull, this is good. It's not bad. Not great, but it's not bad. Uh, let's see if we can get Trident to stick. If not, we'll go for Eggmund here. Um, Arch Griffin pretty soon as well. Yeah, this is fine with me. We only have one version of it. Um, so I think the Banish just prevents graveyard play and also uh, reduces that boost, which is fine with us. I do like this slow value that's just tutored out here, and pretty good. Infiltrator, nice. Um... Let's see if we can draw out one more play. We'll keep Eggmund. Let's see if we can draw out like one more card from the opponent here. The longer we draw this out, the more value we get out of the Arch Griffin. Does get infiltrated? Does get shuffled in? He does have Adrenaline 6. Spawning some drummers for me here, which is fine. We're going to go ahead and take the pass here. Infiltrator garbage, Slav Squirrel says. Um, yeah, I just, I think, uh, I just think that this plays straight into Erland's hand. This is exactly what Erland wants. He wants all these Viper Witchers to come invade his kingdom. Uh, I mean, Colgrim's gonna get some crazy boosts here. Uh, and we don't actually have a great way of dealing with him. Okay, I want to keep Griffin Witcher Mentor just in case we get some other kind of garbage. I'm gonna put this back. And we put that back. Alright, well, there's the Infiltrator. Uh, we get to go ahead and shuffle that back into the opponent's deck. Is fine with me. Masquerade ball. Wow. All right.
Hey, War Bandit. Welcome. Uh, we're filming a video for today. Finally getting back onto onto the Twitches. Oh, I should have said. Uh, I think this is like a target that he wanted here, right? So that works out for him. He gets the bleeding, that's nice. We're patient here. Oh, they really need to figure out these tutorings. They both. This one can't be fanged. Cynthia. Okay. All right. She was waiting for the first half of this poison. That way he can't just knock out this commando all at once. After he triggers the second part of his ball, he's got to come up with some tempo somehow. Vincent taking the Eggmund, then destroying the Tritum. It's fine with us. don't quite have the value we want yet. We need to make one more play, but we're up by card, so we have time. This reinforcements on the Blue Stripe Scout looking pretty good. Ivar does have to be played early. This is one of those. You know, I'm, I'm here. I'm ready to be surprised at how wrong I am. But I really kind of doubt I will be. I'm gonna go for Griffin Witcher Mentor here. Put this infiltrator back. See what we can't get. We do have a pre boosted Arch Griffin in here. Kotor Gaved. It's pretty good. Guessing going for another Viper Witcher. Oh, Mentor. Then the opponent taking Erland as well. Wow. Ha ha, friends. I forgot that we got that one. Oh. All right. Angie is strong. Nice. Jeez. All right. I guess Nilfgaard might actually work well in a 2-0 situation. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to win this out. Nilfgaard looking good in 2-0 situations. Yeah, we can't close this gap on this Colgrim. Yeah, Nilfgaard gets the win. All right, I'm going to make a change. Uh, this all being the case, uh, we don't have a way of dealing with stuff. I don't know about you, but the thing that looks nicest to me looks like Igni, my friends. I just haven't loved this Arch Griffin play, so I'm going to swap this one out. I also haven't loved Adalia either, if we're being honest. So I'm going to go for some Geralt fun. Then we'll do one more game. We'll go for Quinn and for Igni.
Did that dude have infinite provisions? No, it's just all the Nilfgaard cards are super cheap. Alright. Uh, you know what? I don't want... I don't want Igni. I want Yerdin. We're gonna downgrade probably Eggman. Actually, let's just go for Yerdin here. And we'll put Arch Griffin back in. I do think that there is some synergy. We just haven't seen it quite yet. Um, uh, you know, actually, what's probably necessary here is probably Heat Wave. I'm not going to do it, but those of you online, if you're watching this, uh, Heat Wave's probably the best competitive choice to make here. We're just going to swap this for a second and try it. All right. A little bit better. Yeah, Nilfgaard pulling out the win. I'm a little surprised. Um, I think that's the right way to play it, though. I think uh, Cynthia, Infiltrator, and then just 2-0. I mean, it's not really a great analysis because here we're showing off some new cards and showing you guys all this boost, and we don't really have any removal. right? Like, the previous version of this deck had Onsace and Selkirk and Bloody Baron, and this one has none of those things. So, I don't, I don't know that I would suggest that, ever. <laughs> um, okay, well, we can't get him for free. We don't have, uh, lockdown is not what I expected. Um, lockdown mill is, is a definite possibility. So, we'll keep Royal Guards here for him. Let's put these guys back. We don't need them right now. One forty, wow. All right, start it off plain and simple. Keep it cool. If I want to go like Drummer, Tridum, Egmund, Griffin on front row. Seeing her, I don't want to. I mean, we're probably walking into a, a bit of a trop. Yep, 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 yep. He's going to use all his locks now. This is actually bad. <laughs> oh man. Um, let's do this. That'll catch us up. As long as it doesn't ping the armor, which it probably will. It didn't then, so we're we're okay now. Chimney Christmas. What a commitment, man. Okay, this is actually fine. This is that's a better option for us. Cool, cool, cool. That worked out well. It's 
looks to lose on the value on this, but I'll probably play this anyway. Oh, <sighs> yeah, I think I'm just gonna re-describe Arch Griffin as a, a massive removal target. Yeah, I think Cohen doesn't really fit here as well either. I think like he has some cool play if we can get all our blue stripes win and where we want them. Oh jeez, Ramon with Ard Fain. Right, we don't have a way of cutting through that. I'm kind of okay with the trade there though. It sucks to lose on evens, but it's by no means the end of the game. Lockdown Soldier's Ball. Think about how many provisions you gotta squeeze into your deck to get that going. All right, I'm gonna put her back. He's fine. But I'd rather have something else. That was not the something else I had in mind. So this is Adrenaline 4, so I'm not playing this. I'm going to play it anyway. Um, and Cohen's the one we really don't have a great fit for here. I see the Amphib in hand. Just not how I wanted this to go. Not at all. Just getting him again anyway. Um, all right. Not our day. We don't get the zeal either, so just Roach's Merry Band is going to be a little bit under fire. We don't want to use target practice until we have a Witcher down either. So I use four provision, but uh, I really like these Griffin Witcher Mentors do the same thing. Five for five, plus you get the two boost. I like them a lot. Thanks for joining, Sharon. We have a great day, man. Well, it was great to have you on this journey. Um, Anna is looking pretty good here. Fifion is major problems for us. Playing her oblong again, just because I need this damage value. The roach is just going to look clunky here. I 
Hoping he plays something else that's of value. Then we can go for the Yerdin. Yeah. This is over. Oh, this is over, my friends. He owes Roderick onto another aristocrat. We're kind of just done for. I don't have a ton of options here. We can play Erlen next. Yeah. I guess she's better, but... Bearden looking decent here. But if this blue stripe sticks, which I'm highly doubting he will, but if he does stick, then we're gonna go for Scout. He gets one poison here. I think you gotta go for the poison on Detritum. This is just perfect for us though. Kinda run out of room here, which is unfortunate, but he's gonna kill this drummer, so. So we still have one more we can pull out. Oh, sorry, no, we don't. That was the third one. It's because of that one he killed prematurely. I'm miscounting from that. Unfortunately, we don't. Our Witcher is in the ranged row, so we don't have a way of getting that Witcher student. Keldar would have been a better synergy target. Oh, this Roderick works perfectly for us. Solves that problem exactly. So that's why we're going to be boosting Roderick for anybody who's about to ask. I can't see what the second card is, and it's driving me nuts lately. What is this? Alright. Procking some spying onto my units. We're very much in this, my friends. I know we're down a card. Things look grim. But all these points are about to drift away. Sent sailing on the river that is called Geralt Yerdin. For all those who doubted me that Geralt Yerdin was going to be a solid pick, we're about to prove you wrong. Just so many points. Loss of 8, 9, 10, 11, 19, yeah, 25. Have a nice day, Nilfgaard. <laughs> oh, man. Feels good, man. Feels good. Geralt, power of friendship. <laughs> oh, power of losing friends, feels like here. Uh, he can't get to Erland. He has immunity, so he's just going to have to go for this Merciless, which makes sense. Uh, I'm guessing this would be a double poison that he just was holding on to. Yep. She's good value, but not enough to take the win. So, good game. Uh, thank you guys all for joining. I'll be posting the latest version of this deck, which includes the Yurden. Uh, that got us this fun win. But until next time, good luck on the path, my friends. Get out there. Keep on gwenting.